It's time now for our press review with Leo McGuinn. Uh, on Wednesday, French uh, Defence Minister Sebastien Le Cornu held talks with his Russian counterpart uh, over the phone. Uh, Leo, what's the reaction to those talks being in uh, the Russian and the French press? Yeah, as you can see in this Moscow Times headline, uh, Le Cornu held rare talks with Sergei Sho Shoigu over the phone yesterday. France saying that they are ready to step up exchanges to battle terrorism. This, of course, comes after the deadly Croker City Hall attacks, which were claimed by the Islamic State. This piece reports that the talks lasted an hour and they included Le Corny reaffirming his support for Ukraine. Let's go across to some French reaction. This is Le Figaro this morning. They say that although the phone call could be seen as a reprisal of contact between the countries, officially this isn't the case. Sebastian Le Corny confirmed that France has no information linking the Croker City Hall attacks to Ukraine, which Russia claimed, and he also called on Russia to cease any exploitation of the Croesus Crocus Hall attacks. Uh, the article finishes by noting that since the beginning of the year, France has changed its tone towards Russia, are no longer ruling out any scenario in the name of strategic ambiguity. Now, you were talking there ab about the Crocus Hall attacks. You've also found an article discussing uh, Russia's intelligence failures ahead of that fatal attack uh, just uh, um, a few days ago. Yeah, this is in the Financial Times this morning, discussing those intelligence failures. According to this piece, during the last US administration, the CIA sent a team to Moscow uh, which, with information about Islamist threats posed to Russia. Instead of heeding those calls, the Kremlin accused the US of supporting ISIS. This article notes that over the last several years, the Kremlin has steadily expanded its list of extremist organizations. Now it includes LGBT uh, activists, Jehovah's Witnesses, and even the tech company Meta. Such an expansive monitoring effort has put a huge strain on resources, with some security experts saying that it was clear that fighting ISIS was not deemed as important to security services as other political priorities might be. Thank you very much for that, Leo McGuinn.